So Omar and Tiff and Mo just asked us, did we hear a little kid screaming? And we absolutely did not. They're over here in the cabin right now. There was like a little girl or, or somebody saying like, help, like a little kid. Yeah. So are there any spirits here? What's going on adventurers? We are so excited. Omar told us about this place a while ago. It's called the Heritage Village. We finally made it. We're so excited. We're joined with uh, Omar, Tiffany, Mo today. This is really cool. We've already been into the schoolhouse. We've already checked out an 1800s cabin. I have actually heard that some of the buildings here are haunted because some of them are authentic buildings from the 1800s. So. We're gonna just keep our ears open. All right, guys, let's get into it. We don't have a lot of time today. We have an appointment we have to get to, but we're gonna to try to go into as many buildings uh, and show you as much as we can today, but we're coming back. They even have a botanical garden. We're gonna come back and check all that out. Definitely the plan is to come back, but we wanted to come here today just even for a short time and give you guys an awesome video. So let's do it. Let's go. Okay guys, so the first building that we come to is called the Harris School. This is actually a replica, but we're gonna go ahead in and check it out. It looks really awesome. See if it's open. Looks like it is. <gasps> wow, if that doesn't take you back to elementary school. Look how cool they even have artwork on the walls over here. Here comes Lise. Here comes Lise. <laughs> they even have like an original, it looks like a wood stove or is that a coal stove? I'm not real familiar with that kind of stuff. Is this a coal stove or is this a wood stove? Wow. I bet they kept it pretty warm in here though, honestly. Like, you know, it's, it's one room, so. Pretty cool. I'm excited, I'm so excited to be here. So many buildings for us to check out, so we're kinda gonna do a quick tour today, guys. Look at all this cool artwork on the wall and stuff. Wow. This was this was original. That's original? Well, actually, no, it's saying history of North Ward, 1945-1960, but then it's saying it was a class that did it in 1995, so that's cool, though. It even has a schoolhouse smell. I know. I know. Isn't it crazy that this was school back in the days? It was one room, schoolhouses, grade, kindergarten through 12th grade. Unreal. And look at the heater. But I bet they kept it pretty warm in here, you know, because it's one room. What do you think, Lise? Now, where would the teacher be in here? I guess at the chalkboard, right? Yeah, I guess. So would everybody learn the same thing, like from different walks of ages? That's a good question, I don't know. I like how they even have an apple for the teacher over here. So for our next building that we're gonna check out, we're gonna go into this cabin in the woods over here. But wow, that is so cool. It almost looks like a saloon. Uh, based on the door? I don't know, what does this say? Oh, that's just telling what kind of uh, Bush this is, this is called a Turk's Cap Mallow. I never heard of that before, but it looks pretty. So we're getting ready to go ahead into this and see what's happening this over is, here. This looks like something out of the Beverly Hillbillies right here. It looks like a saloon door. Oh, yeah. But I don't know. Guys upstairs maybe? Oh, school yeah. is in session. I heard a school bell. <laughs> All right, let's go see what this is. There's a lizard, he's uh, leading the way for us. What's up, buddy? <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know. Oh, well, it goes upstairs. You can't go upstairs, but. So guys, this is actually an upstairs. What? That is so cool. Of course, that's closed off right now, but wow. So this is a homestead of a captain. Homestead of Captain James P. and Elizabeth Campbell McMullen, uh, oldest log cabin in Pinellas County, Florida, 1852. Wow. That's awesome. So at first I was a little confused because I realized this wasn't a school and I'm like, why do they have a bell? But I bet you this was a dinner bell. That's my best guess. If you guys have any idea if it was something other than a dinner bell, 
go ahead and drop it in the comment section. I'd be curious to hear what you guys think. All right, guys, so I just want to give you an idea how short this door frame is. Lisa is 5'2", <laughs> and oh, it's a close call for her. Close. So we're gonna go in and check this out real quick. Let's go see what's inside of this oh, log wow. cabin. Wow, that. this is like, well, I'm confused because this almost looks like a one room home, except for it has an upstairs, so. Maybe they got apartments. Oh, we do you think it was like a um, multi-generational yeah, family? Look, they have two beds, and they have two beds and a crib, a dresser. Now the only thing I'm seeing well, it could have been here where it's marked off. Maybe it's like a dining table and a stove. Okay, maybe the sleeping areas were in one area and right. then they had like a kitchen area. Right. Okay. But look, if you guys can imagine living... Shoo, it's hot in here. There's no AC in here, guys. Look at the holes in the wall. Yeah. So you're definitely going to get weather. You're going to get yes. bugs. Yes, yes. Animals. Really so yeah. So. But, you know, for what they had to work with back then, they did an amazing job. This is like the wild frontier living. It really is. This is so cool. Here's another room here with, um, yeah, this is more like a dining room. Oh, here. okay. If you guys come over here. Oh, this is so amazing. Look, a spinning wheel. I know. This is like. Wow. Fireplace, dining. I mean, really, I mean, it's rustic living, but they did have furnishings. Right. Yeah. I mean, look at these plates. That almost looks like fine china. Right? Yeah, it's not, um, you know, that rustic. Nice fireplace. It's really cool. Now, back then, don't you think it would be more of a worry about a fire? Of course, yeah. Look at the windows. Now, those are not original windows, but that's where the windows would have been. Wow, this is so cool. Let's go, Let's go shop. shopping. Let's go grocery shopping. Forget Instacart today. We are going, we're going grocery shopping the old school way, guys. Oh, look at this. Guys, this is so cool. So it looks like I have a gas station. This matter of fact, this, doesn't this look like the Ford? Um, oh. The restaurant we went to? Oh yeah, Ford took a garage. Yes. Restaurant looked like this. The gas station. You're right. Um, the tank looked just like the Ford's garage. So it was probably the same time period. How cool is this? I'm so stoked about this. This is awesome. I can't wait to go in the grocery store. I wonder if you can go in the garage. Nah, it looks a lot. Well, there is a door to the left. Yeah. Okay. Free air. Cool. And that's interesting. It says the gas contains lead. They used to, they did used to have leaded gas. Yes, they did. Before. You had leaded and unleaded. Now you have regular and high octane. No, this one's locked. Let's go check about the grocery store. So what's on the grocery list today, Lise? Oh, uh, let's see, milk, eggs, bread. All right, the usual. Have some tuna fish. She wants to make herself one of those <laughs> stuffed tomatoes. Can't get enough of those things. Oh, there's one of these old Coca-Cola coolers. Let's see if there's any cold Cokes in here for us. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, Oh, there's no cold Cokes in there for us, though. It's empty. <laughs> so we just figured out why they're closed, guys. It's because they're only willing to pay six cents an hour. They're not paying minimum wage here. So that's why the general store is not open currently. But we were just told this actually usually is open for, like, refreshments. And he said they have the old school Coke and everything in here. So hopefully things will get back on track really soon. We hope so. We're definitely planning to come back. This place is awesome. I, like, we've only been here for, like, what, 15 minutes? Yes. I'm loving it. And look, guys, this is a barber shop. Carl's Barber Shop. Got the barber pole right here. Let's see if we can at least peek in, though. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Wow, that is really cool. Look at that. So, it does look like a lot of the buildings are still closed. Honestly, you know, as hard as COVID hit with everything, um, it did give a lot of attractions the opportunity to do some refurbishments and fix things up a bit. So it looks like that might be what's going on here as well. We're gonna walk back down here. It looks like they have a train station, guys. You guys know how much we love trains. We are so big on the auto train. We haven't done that for quite some time. 
but you never know. We could be doing it again sometime in the near future. Things have changed a lot on the auto train, so we're glad to... I'm just waiting for the store to open. <laughs> You're going to be waiting a while. <laughs> I, just, I just got off the train, and I, I was waiting to get a little, little uh, Coca-Cola. Coca, Coca okay. All right, so... Yeah, and I have some friends that live in a cabin here. But do you? Yeah. yeah. They're kind of old school. I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? I know you just got off the train, but do you want to show me around the train station? Yeah, let's check it out. I'll show you. Um, they just pulled in. They're probably, you know, All right. waiting around there. Okay, let's All do right, that. Let's check it. Look at this fence. Isn't that cool? Definitely symbolic of everything Florida. And there's another restroom, just in case you guys have the need to go while you're hanging out by the general store. Look at this train car. This is awesome. So Omar and Tiff and Mo just asked us, did we hear a little kid screaming? And we absolutely did not. They're over here in the cabin right now. You guys heard it in here? No, but he caught his bedroom. What? And it's blocked off from there. You can't even go in there. I didn't catch it, but he was able to catch it. There's a rope in like there. A second over there. But no, there was like a little girl or, or somebody saying like, help! Like a little kid. Yeah. Really? Like yeah. No, I didn't hear anything like that out here. So, are there any spirits here? What was your name? What? Did you raise Did you raise cattle? Can you make the sound of a cow? Was this your farm? Cow. Did your children go to school here? Are there any school children here? Did you have wild boar? So interesting fact guys, the train station says Sulphur Springs and there's actually a very small town in Maryland, where Lisa grew up, which is now named New Windsor. They changed the name. It used to actually be a huge tourist attraction. They had springs there and it was called Sulphur Springs. Apparently the springs dried up and then they changed the name. But I wonder, I don't know. I think maybe these are only Florida buildings. Like they're from Florida, maybe. But I never heard of a Sulphur Springs, Florida. So we're gonna find out in a second. Okay, so it was apparently a Sulphur Springs, Florida train station. We're gonna go up and check it out. It looks like it's open. So this is really cool. Oh my goodness, what is that? Okay, let's go see what's in here. Don't be scared. Woo. I'm all by myself in here. Oh wow, this is cool. This is like where they did all their operations. They probably did the ticket, made the tickets here. The ticketing center. Wow. Hello? Trying to see if anybody will talk back to us. They may talk to the camera guys, you never know. This is really cool. Let's go up here. This is the cargo area. I love this. This is awesome. Oh, dude. That sailor just scared the crap out of me right now. Wow, this is so cool. They have an army helmet there. It's a sailor uniform from the Navy, of course. So this is what the cargo area looked like back in the day. Look at all the old school luggage here. They got the trunks. This is, this is similar to what you would see when people were boarding the old school ships like the Queen Mary. 
very very cool even the titanic like back then this is what you saw like when you watch the movie they have these kind of trunks and suitcases so awesome so i think you can actually go on this train car over here guys Oh, bummer, it's closed. But I was right, they are doing restorations to a lot of these beautiful attractions, these buildings. Um, so that's awesome. I'm really excited. I can't wait till it's finished. I can't wait to come back out here, guys. It's gonna be so cool. So we've stumbled upon the firehouse guys but unfortunately it's not open i'm going to show you a little sneak peek of what's inside though you can actually see the fire engine housed inside of here look how cool that is gonna have to come back i'm sure they probably do have it open sometimes look at this they have this well area this is not an animal shed this is a wagon shed <gasps> what? this is so cool Wow, man, it's like Dr. Quinn all up in here. <laughs> Which used to be one of my favorite shows. Look at the pump house, guys. This is so cool. Tiff just found the smokehouse. Oh, wow. You can even smell that. You can smell it. I wish I had smell-o-vision for you guys right now. It <laughs> smells like beef jerky. And charcoal. <laughs> and charcoal. <laughs> so what's this, a well? That looks like something that you, like, shift through. Or, like, I can't remember, like... No, it's not a well. Yeah, you would use it for cooking. It's almost like a giant brick walk. That's what it looks like, a, a giant walk. Guys, check it out, another schoolhouse. This one is called Union Academy. Check out these desks, these are awesome. Let's get like a, let's see how long this table over here. Yeah. Check the American right there. That frame. So guys, I just noticed that they have these was it just one? They have these two desks here, right next to the teacher. Is no that detention? Class, <laughs> <laughs> like, is this detention? This is old school detention right here. Is that what it was? Yeah. I guess, yeah. Henry, since you're not active, I need to come sit next to the teacher, please. You know, when I was a kid, a uh, teacher took my Game Boy and she stuck it on her desk at lunchtime or recess, is what we called that. I think it was recess. Do you guys call it recess? Yeah. Uh, I stuck in and I stole it from her desk, I stole it back. She also has some jelly beans, which I stole as well from her. She caught me. So uh oh. I got in trouble, but I got my game book back. And what did you learn from that? I should be more sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Don't let a teacher take your shit. Yeah. Well, this is a small chalkboard. Wait, they have a sewing machine in the classroom. I know, right? If anybody remembers what these are called, go ahead and drop it in the comment section. I, I know the name and I just can't think of it for whatever reason and I'm, I don't have time to look it up right now. So if you guys want to check it out and see what it's called, please drop it in the comment section so I can remember what they're called. Thanks guys. Well, these books are definitely from back in the day. Okay guys, so we actually had to leave the Heritage Village. Uh, Lisa has a doctor's appointment today and I, you know, I'm really upset because I understand that they have different protocols now because of COVID. You know, Lisa and I both have a background in the medical field and you know we totally get that you know they don't want a whole lot of people in the medical offices and stuff like that but you know the thing is like this is for her diabetes and it's a serious serious condition like I want to be there and I feel like I'm being shut out of her treatment and I don't know like it just it's really heartbreaking like I feel like we're gonna have to find another doctor she went actually to a new primary 
position yesterday and we absolutely loved her she included me she let me be there you know she said it was up to lisa whether she wanted me to come back and she's like of course i do you know i don't know let me know what you guys think about that like i'm really i don't know it's i'm really upset about it let me know if you think i'm overreacting i don't think i am i feel like you know these are valid points and you know things are improving i have my mask i went up to the door with her with my mask on and there was a sign on the door that said that no family allowed other than the patient so i don't know we're gonna get ready to go out to dinner in a little bit i told lisa you know just hang on to that we're gonna go have a nice dinner afterwards look forward to that and you know we'll talk about everything that was said and the thing that really irritates me too is that you know this particular doctor's office seems like a bunch of pill pushers and that disgusts me because you know once you get on a pill it's hard to get off of it and she's already taken the insulin and they tried to switch her from the insulin to two different types of diabetes medications and she had problems with both of them she's super sensitive you know to medications foods everything so you know she really wants to try to do it with the insulin and eventually be able to wean off of the insulin once we're able to get her diet stabilized it seems like with this because it happened so abruptly you know it was it was a tough adjustment like we have to make up for all this time that she didn't know she had diabetes so that's what we're trying to do right now and if you guys could just continue to keep us in your prayers we really do appreciate it guys thank you so much and we will see you guys in a little bit at dinner guys so we just left the doctor's office and just arrived at outback look what lisa's got she is about to drink herself a little happy it's been a long day and actually this is a light beer and it's low carb believe it or not cheers cheers so i did decide to have a little bit of bread tonight guys we are doing our premiere right now as we're filming this so hopefully you guys will see your name in there if you're commenting we might start doing this we might start just showing a little bit of the premieres as they're happening if we happen to be out i think we're going to try to do this this is going to be a thing for us we're going to try to do our premieres while we're having dinner out because it's a relaxing experience what's up to everybody that's right there in the chat we love you guys thank you so much for being so supportive we appreciate it all right guys so it's been an awesome time here unfortunately it was a lot shorter than we had hoped for but you know time flies when you're having fun so we hope you had as much fun as we did today and we'll see you on our next raptor adventure